You see me, everybody, let me tell you something. It's no farmer, man. Can't do no work in there right now. You all are in the mashup. Ashes mashup you whole place. Coconut trees break down. I'm not about all the coconut trees there. Eh? All. You see birds on the ground. If you suffer, continue. I'm not going to make it so good now. So who have to pray? And I'm going to include me. Eh? It is what it is. There's nothing you can do But weather the storm That's blowing through You're barely hanging on You feel like giving up You wonder how much broken Hello, this is Pastor Maloney from the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines serving at Grace Baptist Church for the past 20 years. Recently, we have suffered a major volcanic eruption. As a result, lives on the island were disturbed, disrupted, and people from the northern part of the island moved to the southern part. As a result, my wife, who has been involved in charitable deed for a very, very long time, is now preparing meals and working in a very special way with some of these individuals who have been relocated from the north the red zone i'm going to now turn you over to my loving wife who will give you will let you know about what she's doing and what her needs are hello everyone right now we um, have the opportunity to cook meals for different families who have relocated and we are blessed to get lots of families from our sister churches. So we do like two meals per day. We serve 30 to 50 person daily. Usually we would get them breakfast stuff like cereal and different things like that so that they will be able to help themselves. Some of the houses where they are has no stove or fridge. So therefore that is why the meals are needed. So we took on that responsibility to help provide meals for these individuals. We also have, have a shelter that we have adopted and at that shelter there are many needs but some of the needs that we were able to help them with were some personal items we had at our disposal and uh, they, still, they still have a great need for clothing or the personal item we know this morning we got them some bedding material so at least that was taken care of we really would want to continue this thing because we're not sure how long this volcano will be um, exploding continue exploding so therefore they will be out there for a while so we are asking all those who want to be part of this you can be part of this um, by probably providing the stuff for us to cook or even helping those individuals with probably cereals or things that they can use for themselves. I know there is a great need according, them, according to some of them I have asked. You know, they need personal items, they need things like clothing because going away from home they could not bring as much and some of these individuals, everything have destroyed for them so there is not much that they can return to. Right now on the island, the area is cut out. Nobody can really go back to, to, to these areas. So that is why we make an appeal. If you can help with clothing, personal item, and food stuff, we would really appreciate it. Thank you Thank very you. much. Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Timothy Mitchell from the island of Beckway, St. Vincent and the Grandins. And uh, well, you all might be well aware of the destruction of the volcano has caused on the island of St. Vincent. And uh, what I have done so far as part of our ministry and church here, Gospelite Baptist Church, is try to coordinate between Trinidad and St. Vincent to get uh, food stuff, food items, uh, whatever we need, water, to help the folks over there. We've been working with Pastor Maloney and Mrs. Maloney in these efforts. And what we have done so far here is, is set up a tent. And uh, we, we are basically providing meals to help across here. Let, let my wife tell you a little bit more about that. 
Well, we are preparing meals three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Two days in the week, Mondays and Fridays, we prepare lunch. And on Wednesdays, we prepare dinner. We prepare the meals here and we put them on the boat. And Sister Maloney picks up and she delivers to the homes or the shelter that is uh, the food uh, needed for. Um, so just continue to pray with us um, as we be of help, however little that we can, to the folks over there. Thank you. Jesus,